Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and the first question of the day. What is the general observation about genomes? And here is the variants of the statements we can choose from. Variant A. Bacterial genomes have more genes than mammalian genomes. And this is of course wrong statement because bacterial genomes are much simpler, much smaller than any of the eukaryotic organisms to which mammalian group belongs. And variant B, in mammalian genomes, introns are generally larger than the intergenic regions. Imagine that this line represents a piece of the chromosome, and here we have one gene, and as you see with red color, we show here those pieces which code for the protein. And between them we have introns, and as you see, introns much bigger than exons, which code for the protein. So this fragment would represent a gene. And let's say here we have another gene, and we also have here introns with green color and exon shown with red color. And this is going to be another gene. So this is going to be another gene of the different size with different number of exons. And this is going to be intergenic space. The space doesn't code for any proteins just like introns within a gene. Now let's check our statement one more time. In mammalian genomes, introns are generally larger than the intergenic regions. And this is wrong. So compare this distance or this distance and this one of the intergenic space. So this is wrong answer. But here is important word is mammalian genomes. Because for example, in bacterial genomes, we usually do not see such regions like in eukaryotes, which we call introns. So bacteria usually doesn't have introns. Next statement, all transcripts derived from a genome are translated into proteins. Actually not all the genes which would be transcribed would be translated. For example, tRNA just consists of the RNA and then never translated into the protein. Or for example, large and small subunits of the ribosome consist about 50% protein and 50% of the RNA. And that RNA is also never translated into the protein. And there are many other proteins which has uh, enzymatic function or structural function. So this is also wrong statement. And the next statement, the number of genes in the human genome is accurately known. We also don't know exact number of genes. We just can say that this is roughly about 23, 24 thousands of genes in our genome. And the last statement, mammalian genomes contain much repetitive DNA, making sequence assembly difficult. And this is true because about 50% of our genome is repetitive genome compared with just 2% of our genome which code for the proteins and 50% of our genome is just repetitive DNA. Some of them would be just uh, leftovers of different retroviruses and other nonsense sequence that doesn't specify any proteins. And next question, which of the following is a major difference between RNA and DNA. And the hint is given in the names of the RNA and DNA. So we say that RNA is ribonucleic acid and R stands for the uh, ribose and this is sugar and DNA stands for the deoxyribonucleic acid. Meaning that this is the same sugar ribose but at the carbon number two it means so deoxy missing oxygen. So the correct answer is going to be variant A, type of the sugar 
what makes difference between RNA and DNA. And we have the same phosphate in both and type of purines would be the same purines and pyrimidines. And uh, as you see, the only correct answer is going to be answer A. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.